Hi everyone, my name is Carly, hope all is well. Today is December the 5th, 2020, and I pray this message from the Lord today is a blessing to you all, as well as confirmation, since I know the Lord is talking to a lot of us in this hour. As always, test the spirit and only be anchored in the Lord and in the Bible 24-7. Today's message, I will be sharing a lot of the things that the Lord has been saying uh, uh, messages of exhortation, edification, warning, and encouragement. In addition, I will also be sharing some of the messages from the Lord that have already come, come to pass. And another, another one is actually from five years ago that is slowly but surely coming to pass to encourage you all. Okay, so just bear with me. So as you know, it's December the 5th, 2020, and things have been very hectic in our country. Uh, the, for the for the God-fearing, Bible-literate, prophetic, and discerning Christians and prayer warriors, we are not moved at all by what's ha happening because we, a lot of us already knew uh, from a revelation from the Lord that all these things were coming to pass. For example, the exposure, as the Lord said uh, months ago, unravel the scrolls, reveal and expose. Okay, everything that's done in the secret is going to come out to the light, my friends. So I'm here to just tell you all that you have to keep, let's keep pressing in in our prayer post and let God do what he must do in the name of Jesus, okay? As you know, things in Georgia have been very hectic. Uh, again, we are continuing to pray. We Many of us have been attending the uh, the Stop the Steal rallies at the Capitol, also outside, you know, the governor's mansion and just praying and, and just, uh, you know, asking the Lord to continue to have this way in the name of Christ. And one of the things that he said back in August, which have, has come to pass, and I've said it in previous videos, is that in August, the Lord said that Georgia would be the crucible and look what's happening now. In October the 25th of this year, the Lord said a week before the, uh, the election day, he said that the tipping point will be at a standstill. And then the Lord said, blessed is a nation whose God is the Lord's and we are his people and he is our Lord. And that also came to pass the tipping points at a standstill. So we're like in December and already, you know, you still see the, the tipping points at a standstill. But I have a great word from the Lord that he just shared two days ago. That I think it's going to bring a, a, just a huge, huge relief for many of us in this hour in the name of Jesus. I've also shared back uh, how months ago the Lord spoke in September that uh, Exodus 14. Uh, what is Exodus 14 again? You know, that's what we're experiencing right now. That word that the Lord gave was back in September. We're almost three months in and that's the chapter when the Hebrews left Egypt and the chariots are chasing them down. And what have we been seeing this past year, you know, in, in, in a more, um, excessive manner has been all this doom and gloom the dark winter and the covid and and all this nonsense you know with the burning and the looting and uh you know the rioting and the blm and the antifa and all these protests uh you know groups from the left those are all the spiritual chariots but how does the chapter 14 end the uh moses tells the hebrews behold for the chariots we see today we will no longer see uh, just be still and let god you know pretty much split the red sea right make, make a way and that's where we're at my friends so again Again, just keep your prayer post. If you have a shofar, sound it. The shofar is a ram's horn. Sound it off in this hour. It's a very beautiful spiritual, uh, you know, weapon that is very like, like the walls of Jericho with Joshua. You know, it's a very beautiful um, tool. Uh, and, and as we pray, because again, like Ephesians six chapter, sorry, Ephesians chapter six verse twelve states, you know, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against powers, and darkness, and principalities. And when we release this out of the shofar, that is telling uh, the enemy and the demons, and in, in the name of Jesus, that we declare this to be under God's lordship, under God's authority, and God's presence is here. He has gone before us, and those that abide in Christ, God abides in us. And like Joshua did with the walls of Jericho, God will topple down his adversaries. The, the, God will topple down the enemy in the name of Jesus. Okay, so I just wanted to just uh, share that with you beforehand, before now, I'm going to get to you like what the Lord's been saying in the last few days, okay? Really quickly, on the on November the 26th, the Lord gave me a dream, a warning dream for his people, okay? And this also applies just to mankind overall, not only Christians, but to mankind. In the dream, I saw lab scientists that were chasing down and persecuting and pretty much forcing uh, the implementation of these chips, uh, the mark of the beast uh, against Christians, okay? And even when they were able to do that against their will, I, in the dream, I saw that the Lord, uh, the Lord Jesus and the, and the Father Jesus and the Holy Spirit, he was protecting his people from all the evil that was produced by those chips. So friends, please be careful. I, I strongly, strongly encourage you all, please take care of your bodies and do not allow any foreign agents or substances to enter your bodies, okay? I, a lot of us, um, you know, have been warning about how, uh, you know, uh, that this whole, we've been saying what the Lord uh, has spoken, you know, that this whole uh, COVID situation is nothing but an Ides of March. Okay, that's what the Lord told me back on February the 6th, two days after the State of the Union. I, if you go back to previous videos, I mentioned that how um, two days after the State of the Union, I spent time with the Lord. And I said, Lord, what's the story with that? 
that lapel pin that Pelosi wears all the time. And the Lord disclosed that that, that is a Caldacea symbol, a symbol that uh, looks like the medical symbol. And uh, the Lord said two, two things. He said, number one, daughter, pray for the president's protection because the Luciferian cabal in Congress wants to do an Ides of March attempt against the president like the, like the Senate did with Caesar. And number two, the Lord said, pray that in the Lord's timing, he will pull the rug underneath the feet of the wicked. What happened six weeks after that February the 4th word of this year? The shutdown began. Okay, so this whole COVID, I'm not saying that the COVID is not real. It is, you know, but the, the agenda is completely diabolic. It's exaggerated. It's fear mongering. It's, it's way over the top. And of course, as we know, fear is not of God, but it's of the enemy. Okay. And I'm going to share what the Lord spoke about the CDC over the, over the summer in July, as we went there to pray, the Lord said, lamentations is coming to the CDC in the name of Jesus. The Lord also exposed over the summer that Fauci and Dr. Burks, if you look up their last names, it has a satanic uh, meaning. And that's what the Lord was saying. They, you know, Satanists, they speak in code and and I, I shared that before, and the Lord said that uh, when it comes to the CDC, again, when I went back to pray, uh, and back in October, the Lord said, Jeremiah 50, it's a message to Babylon. When you get a chance, go read it. And pretty much what God is saying, he's going to bring them down. Okay. All this stuff, all this agenda, this, this demonic Luciferian new world order agenda, God's going to bring it down in the name of Jesus. And the same thing with Bill Gates. Okay. God said he's going to hack into his systems. He said it over to some, he's going to ha hack into his, into his systems in the name of Jesus. And I kept hearing the word windows multiple times around the same time. The Lord also said, that the Lord is going to, uh, when it comes to the people in Virginia, okay, he said, those that wire, those in Virginia that wiretap others, God has wiretapped them. God sees all, God knows all, God hears all, and pretty soon God's going to expose them too. Okay, so I want to encourage you that this, again, this whole agenda, this Luciferian New World Order global agenda, you know, that has all these different organizations uh, that are trying to come against the people of God, not only in this nation, but around the world, God's going to topple it down. So I'm just sharing that uh, in addition to this stream, so that way you have an idea of what the heck is going on and to be sober and vigilant. Last year... Uh, January from of 2019, the Lord gave me this word, epic showdown. The Lord said it's going to be an epic, epic showdown between good versus evil. And look, look what's happening now. We're in December 2020 and we keep seeing the, the, you know, the showdown between good and evil. So just sit tight and just be anchored in the Lord in this hour. Alrighty. So. I'm going to keep continuing. On November the 30th, the Lord gave me this word in prayer. He said, deprogramming. He deep, he's deprogramming. He's deprogramming his people, my friends. This is about the awakening that many of us have been talking about. In the name of Yeshua, the Bible says that the truth sets us free, you know. And the Lord gave me the scripture, Romans 2, 2. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of the Lord. Okay, at this on the same morning, November the 30th, the Lord told me to tell you, his people the following. He said, seek the Lord what he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Isaiah 55 verse 6. Okay, that same morning, the Lord also said that we must pray. We must continue to pray against the dens of thieves in this hour in the name of Jesus. You see what's happening around this election. You see what's all these states and the hearings and a lot of, there's a spirit of theft in the name of Yeshua and we got to curse it at the name of Jesus. Okay, so the other thing also, um, this also reminds me of what the Lord said two days before the election in prayer. November the 1st, I was in D.C. praying over D.C. And the Lord revealed to me that day. He gave me that scripture. Had you known that the thief was going to break in, you would have stayed up all night. Okay. So that goes back to this word, this word that he gave on November the 30th. Okay. We got to keep praying against the den of thieves in the name of Joshua. Pray against the spirit of death, death, and destruction in the name of Joshua. Okay. Now. Here's the thing that's very, very uh, scary to hear from the Lord. So what? hear this. This message is going for the wicked, and specifically those that sold out to Satan, but to the New World Order. And on top of it, those that are implicated in the, uh, in the promotion or the propping up of the Antichrist. Okay? Now listen. The Lord said this, Matthew 18, verse 6, But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a, if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were drowned in the depths of the sea. Okay, what God was saying was this, If you have sold out to Satan and the Antichrist system, whoever you are, it's time to repent. God is very, very angry with your wickedness. Okay, and he's not happy at all. But he's saying for you to repent. Because it's one thing when you sell your own soul, 
But when you sell the lives and you sell the souls of, your, of, of God's people, locally, statewide, or nationally, or worldwide, the Lord said it would have been better for you to wear a millstone around your neck because the wrath of God is coming upon you. And I'm not here to exaggerate. I'm not here to you know, produce fear. I'm here to tell you what the Lord has spoken and what's in the word of God. Repent, because your days are numbered. I'm telling you, it's what the Lord has been saying, and I'm going to keep sharing what he's been saying, okay? Now, um, so just bear with me. I'm trying to get my notes here together. Here's a warning message for the Christians who are in government, but as the Lord called them out, these are the suckling on the power to Christians in government. The Lord said the following, prepare to be adjourned. And the reason being is because you blocked the true Christians that God sent your way. Okay. And the Lord said, you are whitewashed tombs, which means you're pretty on the outside, but dry and dead bones on the inside. And God is not pleased. Okay. This goes back to what the Lord said back on the fifth, sorry, on the 6th of February of this year, the Lord said, when it comes to President Trump's spiritual advisory board, many did not hear from the Lord. And he said it three times and God was very angry when he said it. Okay. So repent. God is not to be toyed with. He's not to be played with. And judgment starts in the house of the Lord. Alrighty. December the 1st, the Lord said the following. This is a message for the wicked. Going back to what I just said, what I just told you what the Lord said the day before. He said, I will, I will repay according to their deeds. Isaiah 59, verse 18. Again, this message is for the wicked. Repent. Your days are numbered. God is calling you to repent, my friends. You don't want to receive the wrath of God. And that is going to be the next word that he has been saying. Okay. Now, uh, December the 1st, 2020, as, I, as we were praying for uh, Rudy Giuliani, uh, Sydney Powell and Lynn Wood and the rest of their teams, the Lord said the following, that they are the Lord's war horses. For his name's sake, they will be hated. And that, he, it, they, that he also, they also represent like spiritual Stevens, okay? Remember, Stephen was persecuted because he chased after God. And that, uh, and that Rudy, Sydney, and Lynn and their teams are also God's war horses. So let's keep them in prayer. It was such an honor and such a blessing to be at the rally in Alpharetta a few days ago. I was able to just pray and with other warriors and also sound the shofar and just asking the Lord to continue to protect them and guide them in the name of Jesus. So let's keep doing that. All right. Now. Remember how the, the enemy and his minions, the, the radical leftist Luciferians, they've been talking about, you know, a, a dark winter and all this doom and gloom and all this death, fear mongering, all this nonsense. Remember, this is what the Lord had to say about their dark winter. He said, the Lord said, the dark winter is a cup of bitterness, but it's not our portion and it's not our cup. It's not ours, my friends. It is theirs. Okay. So everything that they're plotting and scheming, their cup of bitterness and wrath that's trying to come against God's people is going to fall on them. As the Lord said, it is not our portion and it's not ours and it's not our cup. Okay. Now, and the scripture that the Lord gave me to remind you all, Psalms 16, 5, the Lord is my, the Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You have made my lot secure. Okay. Now. Okay, this is December the 3rd. Okay, this is what the Lord's been saying in the name of Joshua. In this hour, it's an urgent hour for us to fast and pray. The Lord said, gave me the scripture from the book of Matthew 26 and Luke 22. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Okay, remember when, when the Lord was at Gethsemane and he told uh, uh, Peter and I believe John, you know, stay up and pray. Why? What happened the next day? The cup of wrath of God came over the Yeshua to pay for our sins, correct? Well, this is what the Lord was, was saying. In this hour, we must fast and pray because the cup of wrath of God is going to fall upon the wicked in this hour. And that was his next word. The Lord said this, the cup of wrath and bitterness created by the wicked against God's people will fall on the wicked. Matthew 26, verses 36 to 45. In the same day, on December the, December the 3rd, the Lord said in prayer, tip, tipping of scales. Now, if you remember three years ago, I released that word 
tipped the scales where the righteous will rule and reign, the shift, right? This was three years ago, April, 20, April 2017. Well, just on December the 3rd, the Lord just said he is tipping of scales, which kind of goes into what he said um, back on October the 25th, the tipping point of the standstill, right? So I, that's a, such a wonderful word from the Lord. He's on our, beh he's moving on our behalf. He's on the move. Let's just keep believing and let's keep praying in the name of Jesus. All right. The same day, December the 3rd, the Lord said the following. The plagues intended for God's people are going to fall on the wicked pharaohs. Okay, once again, everything that the devil and his demons, the Luciferians, these Antichrist lovers, okay, these worshipers of Satan, what God is saying is that their, their plagues, their cups of wrath, their cups of bitterness that they are trying to do and trying to cause harm against God's people, it's going to backfire and it's going to fall upon them. Okay, please read Exodus 11, Exodus 12, Isaiah 40, verse 24. Okay, this is a word from the Lord against the wicked inside and outside the church. You will become like stubble. The Lord is not happy. He's not happy with the wickedness. He's not happy with the perversion and all the foolishness that's happened in the body of Christ, my friends. And as we all know, God is not a respecter of persons. And the Lord is saying, he, we will become like stubble. Like, he's like, if you don't repent, you're going to become like stubble. And what happens to stubble? You know, he cuts them off, you know, and then he what burns them out. And that's what the Lord is saying in this hour. So I'm here to just encourage you, my friends. This is not the hour to be toying with the Lord in the name of Yeshua. When you get a chance, go read Jeremiah 23. It talks about the false preachers and the false prophets and the false pastors. If you are someone in ministry and you are playing with God, you are mocking God, you're making money out of God, you're lying to God's people, I'm telling you, get right and repent because your days are also numbered. God is not happy. Okay, he's not happy. And I literally was like trembling as I was reading Jeremiah 23 because I felt the righteous anger of the Lord against the wickedness and the wicked leaders in the church of God. God will not be mocked, my friends. And if you are a church a leader or ministry leader and you're walking in wickedness, my friends, and if you don't repent, you're going to reap what you have sown. Okay, and that is it. Now, the Lord said the following, December the 3rd. This is all in a two-hour prayer session but with the Lord Jesus. The Lord said the following to the church. I am holy, do not profane my name, and woe unto them that do. He gave me Hebrews 10, 26 verses, I'm sorry, Hebrews 10 verses 26, 31, and Leviticus 22 verse 32. The Lord also had a, a, a rebuke against the church, a message against the church. The Lord said the following, this is for the church. You have a spirit of Martha, not Mary. It's all about works. And that many refuse to humble themselves and sit at the feet of Jesus. And the Lord said, because of doing that, you, you're going to miss out on your blessing. Okay? So repent. The Lord also said to also rebuke the spirit of divination of the church. There's way too much new age, white magic, sorcery, name it and claim it, and all this mumbo jumbo that are witchcraft, uh, uh, you know, uh, techniques that are happening in the body of Christ and a spirit of divination that's taken over and we got to pray against it in the name of Jesus. Okay, the Bible says... The Lord gave me the Bible, the word from the Bible, Acts chapter 16, verse 16, and Galatians 1, verse 8. Okay, and this was another word from the Lord. The Lord said, uh, you know, you know how we see like the logo with BLM and the communists with the, with the fist. The Lord was saying this, the same fist that many of these people throw against God, and, and then they're walking in rebellion, and they're walking in defiance. The Lord said, God is going to throw his fist at them. And he gave me Job chapter 15, verses 25 through 35. Okay, and I believe that is all that I have for you. I'm just double checking that I have all my, yes, that's all that I have for today. My friends, I pray that today's message has encouraged you. I know, again, we're going through a spiritual warfare, you know, a lot of spiritual warfare, but remember, we are children of the Most High God, and God has given us the victory. I am excited what God's going to do. I am just, I give the Lord praise and thanks because He is on our side, and we abide in Him, and, and, and I just thank the Lord that He has gone before us, my friends. Listen, time is up for the wicked. That's what the Lord's been saying. The Lord's been saying for the last two years especially this year ecclesiastes 3 4 it's time for the wicked to weep the morn it's time for the righteous to laugh and dance it's time for the righteous to to uh, uh you know um 
to rule and reign. The Lord said it all also earlier this, well, actually, no, it was December last year. He said, it's time for the church to roar and to soar in the name of Christ. The Lord's been saying, walking papers for the wicked inside and outside the church is going to come in four forms, resignations, firings, public exposure, and yes, some God is calling home. And just like the Lord is going to give walking papers to the wicked inside and outside the church, God is going to give working papers to the righteous inside and outside the church. That's what the Lord gave that word back in March of this year. And I fell in my spirit last week and two sisters can get gave me the confirmation if you are in esther deborah isaac david then that uh you know joseph the time is now to be ready and just you know uh, and just be ready and prepared when god is about to promote his people into the positions to carry out his mission says the lord for the lord says that the ishmaels have got to go and what's birth of the spirit will only birth, what's, what's, what's conceived in the spirit will birth and what's conceived in the flesh will not for man looks at the outward appearance but god looks at the heart and this is the time this is this is the time where god is, is is going is, is he is um going to uh, elevate his people he's going to uh, all those that have been in, you know walking with god for years all those that are, have been contending for god's promises all those that have labored they have sacrificed they have given their lives to the lord god is going to anoint them and ordain them into position to carry out his mission in the name of jesus like war horses okay that's what the lord said two years ago he said it again this year war horses that he that the lord said he's uh the gates are about to open up uh you know and that the lord said was going to release a double portion of anointing like elisha to take down the strongholds in the name of jesus there is a lot of kingdom work to do my friends and this is the time my friends for the body of christ to rise in the name of jesus and that's what god's been saying for the righteous you know the season of promotion and then the demotion for the wicked nowhere to run nowhere to hide the lord's closing in says the Lord. The Lord also has been saying, um, un unravel, disclose, reveal, and expose. The Lord also said they're going to squeal like the pigs that they are. The Lord said also that uh, uh, men in suits will be in jail. Uh, flick off the filth. Bulldoze his way, the Lord says. Hollywood will become holy, what says the Lord. There's going to be a revival, you know, in the name of Jesus. The Lord also said there's going to be an exodus out of Hollywood. And the list goes on and on, my friends. Time is up for the wicked. That's what the Lord said. Time is up for the wicked. Countdown countdown in the name of christ so and then also with, when it comes to president trump you know president trump is chosen he is that david jeremiah nehemiah and moses 16 20 20, 20 said the lord and just like the hebrews waited 400 years to be set free the lord is about to set his people free he said daughter tell them for the lord has chosen president trump like nehemiah to build the wall like Jeremiah, to uproot, to tear down, to expose the darkness, expose the snakes, and yes, to build and to plant my kingdom, says the Lord. The Lord said, I chose him like King David to to uh, to uh take down the Goliath of our time, which is the new world order. And last but not least, the Lord said, I chose him like Moses to set the captives free, free at last, free at last. God Almighty, we are free at last. Thank you, Lord. And then the Lord said, tell my people, daughter, when justice falls upon the wicked, it's going to be a jubilee for the people, for America is the birthing place and the birthing room for God's plans to manifest here on earth in the name of christ my friends i'm here to tell you one i'm here to tell you one more one more thing god is on the throne the lord the, the world is going to see the glory of god on this earth in the name of Yeshua. and for all those that mock them all those that proclaim to be gods all those that have come against god's people all those that have come against god's anointed president trump i'm here to tell you repent because your days are numbered men and many take your part saying your days have been numbered in the name of Jesus, it is over. It is over. Get right. And you're going to end up like Haman. All those that have come against like President Trump, you're going to end up in your own gallows. Because when the Lord, when the Lord said in his word, and he, when he says, do not touch my anointed, says the Lord, do my prophets no harm, God means it. So prepare for the hand of the Lord to move upon this earth that's going to bring the reverence and the fear of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Where, one, where every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess, Yeshua HaMashiach is Lord. My friends, get ready for revival. Okay, N despite of all the spiritual warfare that we're going through, we are called to be warriors of Christ. And no weapon formed against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. We have, have the victory in Jesus. This is not the time to be lazy this is not the time to you know to uh continue to walk in in, in in fear or doom and gloom we are conquerors we are winners in the name of Yeshua. we pray okay and we are overlooking the promise now we're going to taste and see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living in the mighty name of Yeshua. we have testimonies that need to be birthed for the glory of the lord so i pray today's message has been a blessing i pray that has encouraged you and once again I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. God bless.